Ladies and gents, it is May 26th today and welcome to the first day of my three month body transformation challenge. Let's go. I'm saying let's go. You're saying maybe. Let's find a disco. You're stuck at home being so lazy. It is almost June of 2021 and probably like many of you out there, I have failed to hit most of my fitness goals this year. I could blame it on COVID and it might be partially true, but uh, let's be real, I've been failing at resolutions since way before 2020. However, as many meditation gurus will tell you, the real mental muscle building rep in meditation is bringing yourself back to focus after you've been distracted. Essentially what that means is that failure is a part of the equation and instead of shying away from failure or seeing it as a sign to stop, you need to understand that it's all part of the process. About six to seven years ago, during a particularly challenging chapter of my life, uh, I gained about 19 kilograms in a span of six to nine months. I stopped all physical activity, which if you know me, you know was a huge part of my life. Uh, I developed a bunch of bad habits and I became extremely unhealthy, both physically and mentally. Fortunately, I was able to get my shit together and eventually, over the past few years, I was able to shed about seven to eight kilograms of that weight. So this is me committing the next three months of my life to getting my body back into shape. And today is my first day back in the gym since fall of 2020. Let's get to work. So this is what I look like right now. In terms of weight, I'm trying to shed another eight to nine kilograms and I'm currently sitting at around 81 kilograms, so that should put me at around 73 to 72 kilograms. In Korea, you are definitely allowed to work out in the gyms. They do close at 10 o'clock, and you do have to wear a mask at all times. I'm gonna start by doing a 15 to 20 minute stretch, then I'll get on the Stairmaster for a couple minutes just to warm up my body before I hit the weights. Now, since this is my first workout back in a long time, I'm going to take it pretty light and do a variety of different exercises so I can hit as many muscle groups as possible. I generally start from my legs and I work my way up to my shoulders. So I know that I'm definitely gonna be feeling it tomorrow, but the good thing is that since I already have a foundation, uh, I should make progress fairly quickly over the first few weeks. You, you've been hiding in the shadows way too long. That you were weak, but babe, you're wrong Yeah, you Better step into the light Just give it a try Think that it's time you let that spark out You've been hiding in the shadows way too long Cause you're a work of art So as you may have noticed, I'm not going to failure on most of these uh, sets. I'm doing about three sets of 10 reps for most of these exercises. I'm just trying to focus more on form, tempo, and uh, keeping rests between sets as short as possible. You don't want to go too fast on your first day, lift too hard. Uh, that's how you get injured. I'm speaking from experience.
right guys, so I finished my workout and I just got back home. Uh, it always feels great to work out so early in the morning. However, it is very difficult to get up so early in the morning. But if you can, I do highly recommend it. In my experience, a big part of making change stick is using a program lifestyle approach, which basically means that you set up goals that promote the success of other goals in your life. For example, uh, waking up early in the morning to go work out means that I can't stay up late at night drinking, partying, or you know going down the rabbit hole of YouTube, which you know happens to me a lot more than I like to admit. Also, you know, documenting this process is a way for me to push myself to get shit done and to be more productive on a daily basis. Anyways, that's it for today's video. Join me next time where I'll be showing you what I eat and sharing with you my overall plan for my diet with you. Until then, take care, have a nice day, and peace.